what's the problem with this now? That we talked about the good thing. The good thing, single search if you're using the ID or MongoDB, right? If you're looking up a document by its ID, it's a single beautiful search. Immediately find the document, base and document, right? And you're gonna, if you're lucky, you're gonna find anything in next to it, right? It's not just one document. This is a collection of documents in a single page. I gotta, I gotta find out what's the page size in Wire Tiger, right? But this is what you get. You're gonna get this, and it's gonna be cached in memory temporarily, right? So if you're lucky, the next, the previous ID next to it is also you're gonna get that as well, right? If the sequence really makes sense here, the problem though, the problem, my friends, is now let's go back to secondary indexes. The moment you introduce it, now this becomes identical to MySQL. MongoDB after 5.3, if you choose to be a cluster connection, it's almost identical to MySQL now. It became identical to MySQL. The ID field, which is the primary key, is the cluster index. The secondary indexes point to what now? They have to point to the ID, right? There is no record ID. You moved where the data is. Right? Previously, the secondary index, and I should have drawn this, but sorry, I did not. The secondary index is used to point to this thing, the hidden, which is a very tiny value, record ID, 64 bit. That's it. 